After you've combined multiple sheets on a dashboard, it's time to add interactivity. While quick filters and parameters on a dashboard already permit viewer interaction, you can add even more with dashboard actions. The first possible action is to set one worksheet to filter others. Just click the drop-down arrow on any dashboard sheet and choose Use as Filter. Then, when you click a pie wedge, both the Map and Detail crosstab are filtered to just the selected region. This creates a dashboard action that can be viewed, modified, or deleted from Dashboard Actions on the drop-down menus. I think I want to use a little different behavior with the pie chart, so I'm going to remove that generated action and create my own. In particular, I think I want the pie chart to just highlight corresponding states on the map when I hover over a pie wedge. Then, when I click a particular state on the map, I'd like the Detail crosstab to just show customers from that state. And when I clear the selection on the map, I'd like the crosstab to go blank. And I'd like to be able to select a customer on the crosstab and do a Google search on that customer. These are all examples of dashboard actions. I'll create a new Highlight action. Always give your dashboard actions meaningful names. I want to highlight the map when I just hover over a pie wedge. Source Sheets, and I can choose as many as I want, are the sheets that will start the action when hovered over. I only want the region comparison. Target Sheets, again I can choose as many as I want, will be highlighted when I hover over the Source Sheet. The only sheet I want highlighted is the Sales by State map. Now, when I hover over a pie wedge, the corresponding map states light up. Next, I want to create a Filter action. This time, I want to select a mark to start the action. The Sales by State map will be the source sheet, and the Customer Detail crosstab will be the target. With filter actions, I have another choice to make. What to do when the source sheet is deselected, when an existing mark is cleared by clicking on it a second time, or when some part of the sheet without marks are selected. Remember that I want the Detail crosstab to be empty when nothing is selected. So I'll choose Exclude All Values. Now, when I select one state, the crosstab just shows that state's data. If I multi-select states, the crosstab is filtered accordingly. And when I clear the selection, the crosstab goes blank. OK, now let's set up a Google search on the Customer Detail crosstab. That will be a URL action. Using Menu will start the action with a right-click on a sheet dimension or with a tooltip on a measure. The name of the URL action can actually be customized with sheet dimensions or measures. We'll customize the action name with the name of the current customer. I've copied a URL to perform a Google search on myself to the clipboard. I'll paste it in and replace my name with the name of the current customer. Now, I can search on the current customer from a measure tooltip or right click context menu on a dimension. Dashboard actions provide rich interactivity when using Tableau dashboards.